Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you can take a second, can you please hit that subscribe button and take another second and slam that like button. I'd really appreciate it. What today's video is about, it's about carrying the message to the next suffering alcoholic. And I don't care what 12 step program you belong to, this video can help you when it comes to carrying the message, especially if you're sort of new in the program, okay? If you're sort of new in your 12-step group, this can help you. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I've been asked many times, you're like, hey, Terry G, when is it a good time to start helping people in, in sobriety? You know, a newcomer comes in the room, when is a good time to help them out? I'm on many Facebook groups that are recovering groups of Alcoholics Anonymous. They talk about the 12-step programs and that question comes up a lot. A lot of people say you must have the 12 steps of, of AA underneath your belt, have that spiritual awakening in order to help people out in their recovery. And you know, that sounds really sexy and it sounds really great. And I agree with that. The more knowledge you have about recovery, the more effective you can be in carrying the message of recovery, really. And I, and I get that and I understand that. And I feel more equipped now since I've worked the 12 steps and I've been in 12 step programs for many, many years and I've worked this, this 12 steps many, many times over. So I got a really grasp, I have a really good knowledge of what's going on and also the traditions and the workings of 12 step programs, okay? I, I get it, I get it 100%. Some of the best 12 step calls or helping others actions I've done in my years of sobriety is simply welcoming people and saying hi, I haven't seen you in a while. It's nice to see you back, shake a hand, and they sit down. And you're gonna to say to me, you know, I'll tell you, gee, that's not really helping out. It really is. It really is. If you take the 12 steps, the 12 traditions, the big book, and you boil it all down, basically what it is, on that final little drop will be one alcoholic talking to another alcoholic. And you don't need a lot of sobriety or a lot of knowledge of 12 step, uh, 12 step meetings or doing the 12 steps or the 12 traditions in order to help someone else. Like I said, some of the best 12 step calls I've ever done have been the, the simplest of all. If you have one day of sobriety, if you have one day of sobriety and somebody walks in with zero days, you could tell them how you got through that day. Or if you have one month, you can tell them how you got through about the first week or the first 30 days. We are all instruments of sobriety. If you got sobriety today, you qualify to help someone else out. You may not know the 12 steps. I get it. You may not know your way around your 12 step program. I get it. But walking somebody into the group and sitting down with them and reassuring them that they're going to be all right is service work and it's helping other people. Going out for a coffee after with them and talking to them and reassuring them again that things are all right and you can relate to what they're saying is a good thing to do. So what do you need to qualify? Just being in the program. I believe that's a good way. A lot now there's a lot of restrictions and there's a lot of pressure put on people, things they need to have, and the level of sobriety they need to have. You know, if you don't have it, you can't give it away. Those kind of things. But there is something we all can do. Carrying the message can be making the coffee, setting up the chairs, taking down the chairs, cleaning up the kitchen, setting up the literature table. There's a lot of things we can do that are behind the scenes on carrying the message that are indirectly helping the newcomer or the suffering alcoholic out there, okay? So... The answer to the question to me, for me, is very, very simple. If you're in recovery, you qualify to carry the message. You qualify to start helping people. You may blunder, you may trip and fall, you may think you're not doing it right, but you know something? I've been with the same sponsor for 28 years now. And he, the only thing that he ever did at the beginning for me was just listen to my woes. And he didn't have much sobriety more than me. He had a few more months than me, but he didn't work his 12 steps. He wasn't a big member of, of AA or 
the 12 step program that were involved at the time. He wasn't a big member of that, but he just took the time out to listen to what I'm, I'm saying, to listen to me and hear my woes. And we would share back and forth. And that kept me sober. That helped me probably the most at that time. Okay. So get out there, help people. You can give them a ride to a meeting, buy them a coffee, whatever you want. You're not going to hurt them. You're not. You're not going to add anything worse to their lives. You're not. Sometimes the best example of growth in recovery is somebody just looking at you and the way you handle yourself, the way you talk, your honesty, and how you rebuild your life. All the other stuff can come after. Being equipped with the 12-step program, knowing the 12 steps, your fourth, your fifth, your sixth, your seventh, your eighth, your ninth, all that kind of stuff. Quoting the big book. Being a pillar in your home group is all great stuff. I'm not downplaying it. But the time to start helping people is now. Do not restrict yourself and do not let anybody else tell you that you cannot carry the message to the next suffering alcoholic just because you don't have like seniority in your 12-step group, okay? God doesn't work that way. Bill W. and Dr. Bob helped each other without the big book, without the 12 and 12, without the all the dogma of sobriety in, the, in your groups, you know, all the, the 12 traditions, they didn't have that. They just went around helping people get sober by simply talking with them, okay? So simplify your sobriety. If you're helping somebody, you're on the right track. There's nothing wrong with that at all, okay? And if they don't believe you, they can comment on Terry G's video and say, you know, Terry G, you're full of it. And I will tell them, that I am not full of it because <laughs> I did that and I continue to do that. Jamming things down people's throats and thinking that I know everything before I have some, can help other people is simply nonsense. It's simply nonsense, okay? Thanks a lot for stopping by. If you can take a second, subscribe to my channel. It's an alcohol-free life channel. And we talk about sobriety here. And the whole objective of this channel is to build awareness to carry this awful disease, the message of this awful disease to the next suffering alcoholic and saying, hey, life is possible without the use of, of alcohol on a daily basis, okay? Stay sober, stay strong, and remember, sobriety equals freedom. Sobriety equals freedom. Ciao for now. Talk to you soon. See you next week. And thanks a lot for stopping by. Bye-bye. And hey, it's Mother's Day today. Ciao for now.